Today I'm going to take up the read and write functions of data file handling. Let's see how to read from a file using the read function and write something onto a file using the write function. Now first of all I'll put down the syntax for this read and write functions. The read function the read function the syntax will be like this I stream now here cat pointer ampersand buff that's a object in size of buf right okay mm -hmm. and similarly the write function now this is of the of stream so it will be o stream here the function write whatever you put here this has to be typecasted into a character pointer uh, ampersand buff int size of buff like this right okay now <clears throat> now I'll take up a small program in order to illustrate how this read and write function works We'll take up an example with uh, a class because in the uh, remaining part of this lesson when you do the programs you'll be using mostly classes and objects. So now I'll take up a uh, program with classes and objects and we'll be using this read and write function in that right. Hmm? Okay now let's uh, do this. I'm going to do a program to read and write class objects right okay um, hash include io stream dot h hash include f stream dot h hash include std lib dot h now here i am taking a class called employee okay now say care name suppose i write 30 float salary and i say care department again I take it as an array 10 something like this right sorry okay now this is the class the public functions of this class I write void input and void display okay So that's it that is the class here fine uh, the classes uh, sorry uh, the functions inside the class they have been declared and they have not been defined right okay so I have to define the function outside the class using the scope resolution operator so I write, I write void employee and here it is input right now inside this we write care ch okay see out enter the name and then 
see in dot get line since it is an array I am using this name comma 30 right then we write see out enter the salary and then see in salary then again see out enter the department and then c in dot get line again d e p t t comma 10 like this right and then finally you can give a end in like this right this is the function now the next function that is the display function void employee display right now inside this we just have to display so name the name of the employee will come I put an endel here then see out salary and the salary of the employee endel see out department like this and then one more end fine these are the two functions now we come to the main method here I write int main system CLS this is for clearing the screen Okay, now I have to make an object of this particular class. The class name is employee and I make an object here obj1. I am going to store the details of let's say 3 employees. And uh, I have to open a F stream object. I call it as file one, right? Okay. Now, first of all, I open this file one dot open. I make a file m dot that. I'm going to open this file and this file is opened in input as well as output mode okay if you give this ios in and there is a vertical line this is opening the files in both the modes fine okay now then if not file 1 this means it's not able to open that file so we will write c out file cannot be opened and then and then we say return 1 right returning from the main method right there is an error here it's not able to open that particular file okay right now then okay if your code does not enter this part that means the file has been opened right so if the file is opened now you write enter the details for three employees
Now for entering the details for three employees, I have to use a for loop for i is equal to 0, i less than 3, i plus plus. For i is equal to 0 here, this is i is equal to 0, i less than 3, i plus plus. Okay. Then here, uh, the object that we made was obj1, obj1 within bracket i dot input. So whatever is being inputted that will go into the first position of that array obj1, right, okay. Okay, that means this will call the input method which we have written here this input method and the name salary and the department will be entered by the user and whatever the user enters that will go into this obj1 here you have this see it's like this this is your obj1 the first position Right, so here this is your 0, fine. So it will go into this position, it will be written here, and after that, now I have to write this. So file one dot write, see how I am using this function file one dot write. Always this typecasting has to be done. It has to be typecasted into a character pointer and ampersand. Now here you have to give the object, right? OBJ1 and I like this, right? And size of within bracket OBJ1 I. So this particular function takes two parameters that is the object and the size of that object so that it can write to the file okay once this is done this is the loop here so it will accept for three employees and then it will come out of the loop okay now the next part is I have written it into the file. Now I have to read from that file. Now when you write to a file, your cursor comes to the end of the file, right? Now we want to read from the file. That means you have to place your cursor at the beginning of the file once again. Now I use the seek g function and I say 0, right? Now this seek g 0, okay, this uh, sets the cursor to the beginning of the file so that the read operation can start from the beginning right okay hmm. okay now we are going to write the contents of the file are as follows right okay now let's see how to read from here so obviously i've got three employees so again i'm going to use a loop here for int i is equal to zero i less than three i plus plus now here i'm going to use the read function the file one the object uh, of the f stream i'm using the same object if you remember we opened the object in both input and output mode right so file one dot read here again cat pointer right ampersand emp i I'm sorry obj1 the object was obj1 i comma size of obj1 i like this okay the same thing only thing is file one dot read i have written right so once this is read, it comes into this object, fine, 
now you have to say obj1 i dot display now this will take whatever has been read that comes into this object that comes into this object and this object is being passed to the display function which will display the data right the display function you had here see out name salary department so obj1 dot i means whatever it had read from the first position that will be displayed right finally once you have written to the file and also read from the file the process is over now this file one the stream has to be closed right and then finally return zero fine so this is the function for reading and writing class objects okay so basically this is the class which you have written here the functions of the class are there and here the right function comes in this part right this one and the read function comes here so this is your read so you have to remember two things that whenever you you have to write your uh, read and write functions there are two parameters that is passed and the first parameter has to be converted to your character pointer that is the object right and then you write size of object like this okay this is what is to be done for using the read and write methods in our um, questions in which we'll be uh, doing different operations on binary file like searching a file or modifying a file we'll be using uh, classes and uh, there you will be using the read and write functions only whenever you are using objects then for objects the read and write functions will work right okay so with that i come to the end of this session on uh, data file handling bye